which is always my mantra, right? I'm always talking about advanced bookings because I think that's the best way to save money. That's what I call Aloha Spirit. It's a world championship. It's 32 miles to cross the channel from Molokai to this part of Oahu on the east side. Aloha and welcome to another episode of the Hawaii Vacation Connection. My name is Bruce Fisher. Thanks very much for checking in with us. We got a great podcast for you for this Friday, June 17th, 2011. This is our 464th podcast. Hope you've had a great week. We got a lot to talk about. We're going to be answering some podcast and Facebook listener questions and we'll also be going over packages that have been booked in the last 24 to 48 hours, kind of give you an idea of what things are costing for Hawaii. In case you haven't figured it out, this podcast is brought to you by us. We're the owners of Hawaii Aloha Travel. We're in Hawaii. We're Hawaii's experts. And you can catch us on the web at www.hawaii-aloha.com. Or you can just give us a call at 1-800-843-8771. We have 15 agents here. And we're all either born or raised here or we've lived here most of our lives. So who better to help you plan a Hawaii vacation, right? So get involved with us. You'll be extremely happy that you did. But we're especially excited to announce that we think we have a date here for Sunset on the Beach. And this is a chance to see the premiere episode of Hawaii Five-0 before the rest of the world. And we have a Facebook page that's just de devoted to this. And we have a great package for you to come here and enjoy that and see your stars, your favorite stars in the Hawaii Five-0 and also catch it all and have a vacation. A lot of people are doing it. We have over 100 people. Uh, already joined up on the Facebook page. There will be a limit to some of the tours that we can offer, how many people it's going to be. We're going to cap it at 100, but we're so excited. We actually have the date. And I had a feeling. I really had a feeling. Yesterday I did a little video and I, I just had a feeling that it was going to be happening on the 10th. And sure enough, uh, Lenkov, the producer, tweeted it and it looks like we're all set to go. So be looking for the official page where you can find out more information about it and or to also order tickets to all the events that we're planning. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to do that soon. Um, now let's get right into some of the questions that have come in. Now remember if I use your question here on the show, we're going to send you some Hershey Macadamia Nut Kisses. These are only found in Hawaii, so we'll send you a big bag of those. Just send your question to bruce at hawaii-aloha.com. Okay, so let's get going here. Um, this is a question from Melinda, and she said, this is actually a common question that we get is, uh, are there any Walmarts in Hawaii or should I go shopping before I leave the U.S.? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Some people do actually ask that question, is Hawaii part of the U.S.? But I know you're just kidding. And yes, we have Walmarts. We have like three Walmarts. There's one not too far from Waikiki here on Oahu. Almost all the islands I think have them. I know Kauai has a Walmart. A big island has a Walmart. I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure Maui has a Walmart as well, so all the islands have Walmarts, of course. And everything in there is made in China, right? So it's closer to get here? I don't know. Maybe not. So, and she also wants to know when's the best month to come to Hawaii. Gosh, I should probably have this posted somewhere, like in big letters, because I get it every week. And it all depends on the time you're traveling or whether or not you want to save money. So. If you want to save money, best dates, again, repeat after me, May and October are the cheapest months to travel to Hawaii. So thank you very much for the question. Melinda, you just won yourself a bag of uh, Hershey Macadamia and uh, kisses from here, from, uh, here, from all of us here at Hawaii Aloha Travel. And a big kiss. Yelling is sending you an actual kiss. Uh, another question here from Sue French. She's a Facebook friend. She says, which island has the best hotel prices? Well, you know, for the most part, which, uh, which island has the best hotel prices? Well, actually, Oahu, I think, has the best hotel prices because there's more hotels here. That's basically the way it works. And you can actually find hotel rooms for under $100 in Waikiki. So that would have to be my choice. You can still get great deals on all the islands, but if you want to pick one island where it's the least expensive for everything, pretty much, it would be Oahu. And that's where Waikiki is. That's where we are right now. And by the way, look at this weather we're having. I can go out like this and see, gosh, it's even sunnier like that. It's gorgeous. I just can't wait to get out there. And today, actually this evening, we're going to be headed out to Kaneohe Bay. And we're going to be doing a podcast about this next week. The uh, Paradise Bay Resort is just opened over there. 
And this is an opportunity to be in a smaller type of property. It's almost like a B&B, but it's still a resort. It's still a hotel. And we're going to be hanging out there this weekend, actually. We're going to stay overnight there. So I'll have uh, lots of pictures. They have bungalows that are apparently over the water at this place. Isn't that great? We need that, more of that stuff here. So uh, we're going to check that out for you, and we'll bring you some more information about that next week. By the way, we are going away next week on Tuesday. So I wonder if I'll even have a show next Tuesday. We're going to Alaska, so maybe we'll do our show from Alaska. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll see. We'll see. Okay, we got another question, and this is from Jason. And he says, with all the bed bug talk out there, should somebody be worried about where they stay when visiting the islands? There's, here's an attached website that talks about Honolulu's that have bed bugs. Guess what? Bed, buds are, bed bugs are everywhere. And you know what? I have never had a customer, I've been doing this for 13 years, and I swear to you, I have never had a customer call me up and said, oh, I've gotten bitten by bed bugs in a hotel that I've stayed at in Hawaii. Not yet. I swear, this is the honest truth. So I think it's craziness to be worried about it, personally. I mean, if you're going to worry about germs and, and your OCD about stuff like that, don't stay in a hotel room anyway. Stay at home. You know, it's, I, I think it's just crazy to be worried about bed bugs when you come to Hawaii. Now, I don't know if you heard the story, but there was a story about they found bed bugs in a restaurant in Waikiki. I don't even know if that's the story he's talking about at Lulu's. And it turns out that people can carry bed bugs on them or in their clothes or in their fur, you know, in their, you know, in their shoes. So I would not worry about bed bugs in Hawaii or anywhere, for that matter. Because if, if hotels find out that there's bed bugs, they get all over that. They really do. They don't want... They, and, and in fact, we have an agent, and I won't mention any names, who has a friend who works in the, in the pet industry, in the uh, bug industry. And she's told me personally that they go around several hotels. It's not uncommon. Don't freak out about it. So... That would be my answer to that. Hopefully that's not too scary. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, Nikki Gaylord, she says she's visiting to Kauai. She's visiting, visiting Kauai in October. And she wants to know what my free, three favorite local restaurants are on Kauai. Okay. First one. The Beach House. That's a um, that's down in Poipu. Two of my restaurants, favorite restaurants, are in Poipu. That's down on the south side um, of Kauai in Poipu. The Beach House. Now that's fine dining, real you know like a nice restaurant, some, something you do you know a nice night out for a special occasion. Second one is uh, Tutu Supale. Now uh, that's in the um, in the Luhui area. Now the she's like the soup Nazi of of Kauai. <laughs> But not really. She's just opposite of the soup Nazi, really. She's really friendly and sweet. And it's a great place to go. Definitely go to Tutu Soup Holly. It's fun. It's really funky. It's very delicious. All the soups are fresh made. And you'll love it. It's Ono. Another place is uh, Jocelyn's Tapa Bar and Grill. And that's also located in Poipu. And this is sort of a new chef. I forget the chef's name who's, who's just come back there. But uh, they have inter, intercontinental tapas, and they have lots of really fresh local dishes, great Hawaiian cuisine, moderately priced, so I definitely go there. And then I just want to also mention, I know you asked me for three, but I'm going to say four. A lot of people don't know about this Mediterranean luau that's up on the north shore of Kauai. It's really fantastic. It's uh, right near the Han ha Hanalei Colony. If you're going to be up there in that area, you can basically walk there from the Holland, uh, the um, Hanalei, uh, and it's uh, if, it's just great every night for dinner. But they have this great luau on Tuesday nights, and I highly recommend it. And you should check it out up on the North Shore. So hopefully that answers your question, Nikki. Congratulations, you just won those Hershey Kisses. And if you have a question, you want to win the Hershey Kisses, feel free to drop me a line, Bruce at Hawaii-Aloha.com. Now's the time in our show where we like to talk about packages that have been booked in the last 24 to 48 hours. So if you're planning a trip to Hawaii, this is a great segment for you. Uh, first one comes in, it's for two people. They're traveling from Wichita to Honolulu. They're coming here August 27th 
to September 9th, so they'll be here for seven nights, and they're going to be staying at the Aqua Waikiki Wave. You know, the Aqua Waikiki Wave, very nice property. It's right in the heart of Waikiki. It's just a stone's throw. Did I just say that? Stone's throw? It's just across the street from the International Marketplace. Great property. Congratulations to uh, Chula Ray Ann and Warren Leonard. The Shoffs. We want to thank you very much for booking with us and to Kalei over at Extension 31. She's the one that put that one together. I should give you the price for that. Guess what? Only $21.98. $21.98 for that package. Congratulations, you guys. You're going to have a great trip to Hawaii, Nate. Here's another package also for two people traveling from San Diego going to Maui. They're going to be leaving July 10th to the 17th. And they're going to be staying at the Royal Lahaina resort and they've got that dream package that dream package comes with a lot of amenities it's great package and you want to find out about that it includes um, a luau it includes a dinner cruise it includes champagne when you get there it includes a whole bunch of other stuff so give us a call on that one get that package it also includes a car total package on this 4151 this is a great deal congratulations to christy and robert terry you're gonna have a wonderful time in hawaii nay and to sanoi Sonoy is the agent that put that one together. Thank you guys and welcome to our Ohana. So those are some ideas of packages. You know, that's all we do here. And is it better to book with somebody in Hawaii, somebody that's here that understands these islands than kind of just going on Expedia and just pushing a button and just, you know, taking your chances? Get involved with us here. We're all here. We want to help you. You know, it's very important to us that you have like the best trip ever to Hawaii because we want you to come back. And we also want you to have a great experience. So get in touch with us, 1-800-843-8771. Okay, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, we're going to be here again, hopefully next Tuesday. If not, we'll see you the following, I mean, next Friday or the following Friday, depending on whether or not we do a show. We're headed to Alaska for a little R&R &R and to visit some friends up there. So that's going to do it for my beautiful wife, Yalai. For all of us here at Hawaii Aloha Travel, we'll say aloha and mahalo. Thank you.